Hi friends, with D here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. We're talking about Epic Empowerment today, which was released last week into the game. Of course, everybody else already did their videos on it. So let's dive into it. Which epics you should empower if you have enough copies of them or just wait for copies to empower them for those extra stats and whether Faction Guardian is generally better. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that to check each faction to see if I have enough extra epics beyond faction guardians to empower people here like for example here in banner lords the first one ursula is a great support champ definitely in some of centrano's rooms or if you don't have reviver support champs as good as her generally on that account she will be a great one to empower here stagnite comes second a great debuffer i've never got a chance to build one on my account though probably because i never got him early enough but yeah let's see now here so we don't have additional copies of Ursula. Okay, another one that comes to mind. Yeah. Annabelle is great for soloing Bommel. So if you have enough copy of her, that will give her extra stats, extra speed, HP, defense, and all of that to help her uh, beat Bommel even easier. So out of the gate here, I don't have additional copies from anyone to plus four. High Elf's got a bunch of good epics here. So, like Virgis, if you're using him for Scarab, Royal Guard, Tyrell. Actually, Royal Guard, depending on your roster, whether you have a Crazy, a Newt, and all of those stuff called Hearts, Royal Guard is a great champ for Hydra and for any max HP for dungeons. Uh, so, it's not a bad idea to keep two of him. So Especially. don't jump into empowering your Royal Guard. Try to keep another copy of him. So, let's now see. Uh, Ethelin also is a good damage dealer and the buffer so if you have enough copy void epic yes but if you have enough copy of him think about empowering him you only need one of him um, I don't have enough royal guards I don't have enough Tyrells the problem that even in game players like me are having that we were not keeping copies because there was no purpose of keeping extra copies of legendaries like I was keeping two for faction guardians and that's it so I kept like feeding or any other copies as chickens. Now we have to start building that roster. So we're not empowering anyone from high elves. Well, probably that video won't even see, see the light if I don't see any other epics that I can empower here. Sacred Order. Um, Deacon, probably you won't need two Deacons. So if you have additional copies of Deacon, he's a good uh, epic to be empowered. Uh, Shamayal for Hydra. So looks like I can plus three my Shamayal because I got I got two built already. I don't need three because I have Duchess. Uh, he's one of the best solutions for the head of whatever the fear the fear head. Yeah. So I have I can plus three a Shamayal and probably I'll do so to my Phoenix. You know I love my Phoenix. I don't have additional copies. I will look for copies for him to empower for sure. Aniri is one of the champs that you might need two copies of, so don't jump into empowering her directly because void epics are not that easy to come by. Uh, so if you find out that you need an additional copy of Aniri or Shamael and you don't have him, that would be a problem. Um, Non-void epics are easier because you get more of these from Ancient Shard and such. So what about Barbarians? Farak and the Fat, definitely a great option for empowering. Same problem here. I'm not keeping copies because I don't need them. One reason, one great reason not to fail your faction guardian here, unless you account for it, is that plus six speed. Again, the defense and HP, if you're building a stun target for clan boss in a man eater team, that will mess up things there. So, of course, I have, um, I can plus two a man eater, though I'm not using him much. Look at how many copies. So Skull Crusher, probably that a lot of people can will envy this because Skull Crusher is only one of three counter attack champs in the game. They already said they are not uh, releasing any more of them, but I can actually plus four one of my Skull Crushers. I'll do it because why not? Probably I'll end up rebuilding him. He hasn't been rebuilt in so in in a long time for Centranos and stuff. Ugo is one of the champs that you do not want to empower too soon because you'll need at least two Ugos on your account for Hydra. 
So that's why I only have two. I haven't built a second. I should pretty soon. Eurogrim is one of the good options, actually. So for Eurogrim, I don't remember even why I removed speed from here. I'm not using them elsewhere. Let's give this to my Ugo and see if any teams are missed up. We'll see, I guess, because I need her. I'm using her already in Hydra. Uh, so as I said now, I'll plus four my Skull Crusher today. Uh, Skrank is a good option for empowerment. Like I have three copies of him and I don't use him for uh, faction guardians. I'm okay. not just making this video longer. I want to discuss with you like the thought process of whether you should fill your faction guardian or empower the champs. Broadmo is a mid tier champ that probably um, you don't need in game if you have. You will fuse multiple copies of Broadmo for fusion for those champ chase point. So you'll easily get four additional copies to empower one. Then he will be decent and some content for you. Uh, Jareg is a good option for empowerment. Jareg is a great champ there. Also, uh, what is this guy's name? I keep forgetting it. Yeah, Aox. Aox the Rememberer is a great champ to build for Centranos and elsewhere. Venomage 100%. Um, do you need two copies of Venomage? I don't think so. So yeah, if you have the copies, just empower your Venomage beyond Faction Guardian. Orcs might be one of the richest factions now for epic empowerment because Duke, a great champ. If you have additional copies, you only need one. Feed them to him beyond Faction Guardians. Faction Guardians come first, but Duke will definitely be great empowered. Tagore, one of the best epic revivers, definitely empower him beyond Faction Guardians. Um, Zergala, great damage dealer, plus four Zergala can do a lot of damage there. Though for some uh, secret rooms in Doom Tower and for Centranos, you might need two Zergalas built. So maybe keep two for Faction Guardian, eventually build them once you don't have anything better to do in game and then feed additional copies to one of them for a plus four zergala vrask a great healer damage dealer support champ hp based uh, i'll definitely vouch for empowering vrask see here so i've seen a video from saf talking about like super in-game strategies uh, basically if you're using your seer for waves ice golem hard or dragon or whatever you actually want her to die when you get to the boss so the couple of boss specialists can do their job and take down the boss fast enough so your farming doesn't take much time. Plus 4 Seer will give her additional stats that will make it harder to build their squishy enough for her to die fast enough. But that's super in game. For you give, giving her additional speed, those she'll get additional defense and HP. If you're not depending on your Seer of dying once you get to the boss, those super in game strategies just empower your seer you only need one and you need those additional stats especially speed it will make it easier for you to build seer for dungeons and for doom tower hard uh to hack an underrated epic that i'm looking to build later but yeah also a good candidate for empowerment i forgot to talk about sand lash one of the best underrated epics in the game so yeah i'm plus two wing here i'm not who else are we talking about here Umbral, I have a did oh oh I can plus four my Umbral. that's amazing actually I can only plus three her because I'm using her in faction guardian so I'll wait for another copy but Umbral is one of the best underrated epics I have a dedicated video on her go check it out if you have the additional copies you only need one of them built so keep one for faction guardian but definitely empower your your Umbral here uh, Magnar yeah, if you have additional copies, uh, same story. I'm not keeping many copies of those. Now you want to keep your useless epics in the faction guardian. So you have enough copies to empower uh, your good ones. Like for example, here I'm keeping whatever. I'm not using Nazana if I got this right. So I'm empowering. Now I'm plus fouring my Umbral. I've got a couple of great options to talk about. Crimson Helm. If you're using her for Bommel, it's good to plus four her if you have enough copies to give her additional speed, HP, and defense. If you're using her on full auto though, beware of this uh, if you're tuning her speed. Dark Hail, I'm not sure who will empower Dark, Dark Hail. I will check, but amazing option for empowerment. Oh, so I can actually 
plus for my whisper. I've never built whisper, so now that will make me build her, uh, though I don't have any blessing for her yet. Moving into dwarves, uh, you'll definitely need a couple of copies from Geomancer. I haven't built any other copies of him, probably that's my bad. Gala is a great option for empowerment once your uh, faction guardian is filled here. Morag, one of the best epics. Yeah, empower her if you can. That will give her a lot of useful stats. Melga, I have a dedicated video on her. Underrated support reviver. Uh, so yeah, empower your Melga for sure. That will make her even better. Croydon the blue is a good option for empowerment and Ruella, of course. Just so Dark Hale is empowered by Captain Tamila, which is a useless epic more or less. So definitely when I get copies of her, I'm going to empower him. Phoenix, I have only a single copy, so yeah, probably not today. So I can plus three my main Shamayel now and wait for a fourth copy to make him even stronger. So I will do this for sure. Actually, he's gaining speed because, because of this. So yeah, plus three Shamayel coming right up. I have another copy of him. Like I said, I'm only doing this because I already built a second copy of him. Uh, Shamayel is one of the champs you probably need a couple of copies of, so don't empower him unless you have those additional copies. For my seer now, um, so I don't need, oh, okay, faction guardians, let's remove my seer from there and put anyone else, Tagore, yeah, because I haven't built him yet. Uh, let's go back to empowerment now because I'd like more speed on my seer. That, that can mess up my dungeon teams, but yeah, I'll readjust. The speed on her is important. I wanted to rebuild my seer for, for a very long time for more damage. Uh, so I can tackle higher content with her. So Let's plus two our AOX for some more speed. I've built one for Centranus. And I want to regear him, a good champ here. One of the very few champs that I can empower, especially that I've already built two of him. So definitely need a regearing. Probably after this, I'm going to regear my empowered Skull Crusher. Or Centranos, probably mostly, but yeah. He will be a great candidate now after empowerment. And I'm very pleased to plus four my Umbrel. So let's do this now. That's awesome. My Ambrel is decently built. Probably I'll make another video showing her in content after her empowerment. I'm plus doing my Croydon for more speed here because I'm planning on building budget Fire Knight hard teams with him. Again, getting into the content creator program will make this way easier for us. So help me get there by views and subscriptions. Okay. And finally, I get to play with Whisper. The Am I now officially part of the Church of Whisper, as Seth calls it? Yeah, let's see. I hope I'll get a blessing for her soon to test it out. Another good champ to empower and build is Eurogrim. I never got a chance to build them on my account, so let's see if we'll get a chance to do so now. This concludes our empowerment session for today. What did we end up with? Plus four whispers that's going to be built, of course. Plus three seer, Shamael, Awix, and Croydon the Blue. Will we empower more champs? Definitely. Once I empower more champs, I'll show them to you in videos and stuff. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you next time. Bye.